Let's get into some combo in this thing, fellas. Gangsta Wicked. I bet you, I wish Pimp C was alive to, for this last night. What, oh, would, yeah. what would the pimp have said? What would the pimp do? I mean, he would have went up there and slapped the nigga. Yeah. No, I'm saying what would I the pimp... I think he would have did what Will did. You think pimp would have went up there and slapped I him? I think, yeah. I, I, what you, you know what? <laughs> Will Smith, the spirit of Pimp C got into Will Smith, and he hauled up and just... slapped Chris Rock. And that's just what that was. If that had to be, if, if, if pimp was Will, and he disrespected the pimp old lady like that, yeah, pimp definitely would have... If he didn't slap it, he would have said something. He he he, he wasn't gonna sit there and just take that. Hell no, yeah. no, he wasn't gonna take it. But what he would have what the pimp would have went up there and just slapped him out on national television. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he had it in him. Yeah, you know? yeah. He definitely had it in him to go up there and slap him. <laughs> he, 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 he definitely had that in him. Like hell yeah. You what well, well, um when well, you and pimp tight, you know what I'm saying? I I know that um I thought I heard somewhere that that you know I know you were with. Uh, face them, mm -hmm. but you know I, that you and and um, that Bushwick was probably uh, the, you know one that you hung out with the most. Uh, face was kind of the one who, who who grabbed you and started everything from mm -hmm. you know from me and you started. But you and Pimp had like a little special little thing well, that was a little different than. I, well, I hung out with Bill, but I well, I, I just live with Face. So just me and Face, face. but um, Pimp. I met Pimp through Face Brother Warren Lee, you know what I'm saying? And when he moved to Atlanta, we would hang out, I would go out to the house and shit and, I, and hang out at the general club and all that kind of shit, you know what I'm saying? Every time I see him, it was, you know, he was just a real ass nigga, you yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like he just, if he fuck with you, he fuck with you. If he didn't, he didn't, you know what I'm saying? Like yeah. he, he was just that kind of guy, you know what I'm saying? Like yeah. it, 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 it Used to shock me sometimes, like, damn, that nigga Pimp C, he fuck with me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, right. He call you, but like, K KB, come here, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> that she's like, damn, this motherfucking Pimp C right here. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> right, like, right. But um, he was a good dude, man. He was yeah. a good dude. He was a good dude. You know what I'm saying? He, he, he you know what I'm saying? He a snap out. You know what I'm saying? He just believed in what he believed in. Right. You know what I'm saying? If he, if he felt like this hat was red, goddammit, he gonna stand on it. It's red. Right, you feel me? right. Like you ain't gonna got them tell me it ain't real. He gonna stand on this shit. Whatever he believed in, he he stood on it. He shit. stood on. You know it. y'all ever? Did y'all ever go? You know, do any songs together? Were y'all ever? Did, did have you ever been in the studio with this man and seen him record like his work ethic? What is he like? I never know? been in the studio with him, but I do, I do have a song with him. Um, I missed him by this much over at Short House when Short was standing out there with Cascade. Uh huh. Um, it's a song called um, "Cigarettes" with me, UGK. Too short and eight ball. Mm. Gotcha. And um, I was in the studio with eight ball when he laid his verse. Me short and late. Me and eight ball laid our verse together. But um, UGK had just left the house. But the one time I almost did a song with Pimp C is um, we was out in Houston uh -huh. and um, this is one of like my favorite Pimp C stories. But uh, <laughs> it won them. And so uh, we had this guy named Bandit. How Bandit was um part of this group called the Middle Fingers. It was. Bumby had a group called Middle Fingers and shit. Uh -huh. So we was at his house. It was me, Devin the dude, Trey T.L. and the little Trey, uh -huh. and Trey Cousin Rod. We in the car. Devin in the house, in the, in the house. Car pull up. Motherfucker jump out. Now I ain't exaggerating and shit like, the, pit, the, um, the Big Pippin video with Jay-Z, uh -huh. that nigga had the mink coat on <laughs> with, with, with no motherfucking shirt. <laughs> For real. For real. <laughs> Jumps out the car. Look over in the car, he see me. KB, what's up, man? <laughs> so I'm saying, like, what's up, Pimp? What I'm saying, he's like, man, who you with? I'm saying, well, Devin in the, Devin in there. <laughs> so uh, he loved Devin the dude. Pimp right. loved Devin the dude. Right. So uh, he like, who that in the back? Man, they look back down. Like, there's my little partner, Trey, cousin Ron and shit, man. He like, yeah, he did. I say, man, man, we finna go to the studio, Jack. We finna go to the motherfucking studio right here, man. Like, um, we gonna do two songs for you, two songs for me. He said, did them niggas back there rap too? I said, yeah. He said, we're going to do two songs for them. <laughs> Damn. That nigga Pimp, man. So, uh, <laughs> David come walking out the house and shit. And they didn't know him and Pimp chopped it up. Because I think we finna go to the club or something. So we finna go somewhere and shit. Uh -huh. So, 
they were like, man, now nah, we got to keep moving. We got to move, man. Like, Pimp, we going to get up with you, man. You know what I'm saying? So we didn't go to the studio that night, but Pimp was ready. Right, yeah. right. He was ready. Oh, I, I, I was mad at Devin. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, I damn near wanted to jump out of the car with Devin and jump in the car with Pimp. Like, nigga, like, shit. What? Right. This nigga from the goddamn do the beat, sang a hook, and got right. Like, right. He's talking about fuck? going to the club. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, shit. <laughs> Boy, I, I was slick mad at Devin, man, but, uh, yeah, Pimp, he, 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 he he was a good dude, man. You know yeah. what I'm saying? I ain't gonna say we were the best of friends right. and all that, but when when we saw each other, when he saw me, like we, whether we on the road doing shows together or we around here in Atlanta, it was all love, man. It was all love, it was all love. Bond, me and Pimp, I was, I had a more relationship with Pimp than Bond, but Bond, that's another good dude. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. absolutely. Good dude. Though Bond, good dude. What was it like being an Atlanta nigga in Texas, though, man? What was that transition like, just growing up here and then finding yourself in Texas? Man, that was like, it's a whole nother world, man. Yeah. Because, like, we used to coming from here, Atlanta, you know, got the booty shake shit, you yeah. know what I'm saying, the loop, you know what I'm saying, the bass. Then you go out there and everything's slow, you know mm. what I'm saying, the screw, that kind of shit, you know. But, man, I love Houston, man. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I love Houston. Houston like my second home. Yeah. Like, what I'm saying, like, it, it, it's, you know, the world is a ghetto. Everything, everywhere the same. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You have to have to adapt to the, the way they do it and the way we did. You know what yeah. what I'm we, we trapping down here. They ain't trapping out there. They, you yeah. know what I'm saying? They, but they getting money though. You get yeah. what I'm saying? Right. But like, then listen to the music, how they screw it up. I had to get used to that because like, we used to shit fast out this yeah. way. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. You coming from the Miami Bay shit. You know what I'm saying? Booty so, shake. Yeah, yeah. booty shake. And going out there and slowing it down. Like, okay. Yeah. Then when you got them get to the drinking that thing, okay, yeah. nah, okay, nah, nah, nah I, I get, get it. it. Yeah. yeah, I get it, yeah, yeah. But um, I love Houston, though, man. Being around those crews and stuff and all of that legendary stuff that was going on, did you feel like you was in the midst of legendary shit at that time, KB? Yeah, I knew, because like I said, I was on Rap A Lot before I even went out there. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I was on the, the Rap A Lot, Suave House, you know, all that shit. Trending yeah. the Garden Cartier, all, all that shit. I was on that shit before I even went. Mm -hmm. And so, to be out there and, and be amongst that shit, man, like shit, you know, I ain't gonna say starstruck, but like, nigga was like, God damn. <laughs> in, in, my, in, in my head. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. nigga like, you know, like I said, my first time meeting Bushwick. Yeah. Coming to the studio and goddamn um, 3-2, God bless the dead. Big Mellow, God bless the dead. You know what I'm saying? Like, all those... Guys I actually listened to before I got out there and shit. You know what I'm saying? Meeting DJ Screw and shit. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, I knew I, I knew them niggas were legendary. Yeah. What goes through your mind now when you realize that a lot of folks done passed since that time and they no longer here, man, and you just remember those lives and those spirits in the flesh, but it's no longer alive. Does that fuck with your mind in any way? Hell yeah, it do, man. Especially like when I hear a song. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like I was just listening to a song the other day on the, um, my homie's song. It, um, it's a song with 3-2 and uh, Pimp C. And I'm like, God damn. Two of them niggas did yeah. on that song. You get what I'm saying? And the nigga yeah. that was playing the bass, my nigga JB, the nigga that was playing the bass on the song, he got shot and killed. Damn. So it was like, damn, the nigga who did the beat Two of the niggas rapping on the motherfucker did. You know what I'm saying? Like, that shit be fucking with me. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like, it's a lot of niggas from out there that's, that's dead and gone, man, from out there in Houston, man. Yeah. From, from when I first got out there to now, yeah. they ain't here no more, bro. So, like, that, that shit, that shit kind of fuck with me a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Like, God damn. Yeah. Like, when I hear a song or see someone on, 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 see a video or something on YouTube or something. Yeah. Like, my nigga Big Mellow, 3-2. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Bushwick. Yeah. Man, Screw. Fat Pat. Big Mo. Like, God damn, it's a lot of them niggas dead, man. 